Le azioni dell'Iran hanno sconvolto il mondo civile. Via, via, via! Eliminate tutto! La nostra ambasciata è stata presa e più di 60 cittadini americani My first question is about the looks of the 70s and the 80s. You guys have the mustache and the beard. How did you feel it on yourself? And by chance, in the last day of shooting, did you, did you shave it off? Uh, I couldn't shave it off in the last day of shooting. I had to wait till, because I, I now assume that we'll do some pickups or reshoots or something, and I didn't want to have a wig for that. So I had to leave it on for another few months. Um, and it got uh, old. I mean, it's, it's hot and itchy, and you look a little bit like a disco star, but... Um, you know, now that it's gone, I look at the picture, I think, uh, oh, those were the days. Okay, this is the first movie you shoot outside of Boston, outside your city, and it's a bigger scale. As a director, what do you enjoy the most, and what does it put you anxiety the most? Well, I think, well, I mean, what I would enjoy the most is when I feel like I'm doing something that's working and that's interesting, and that the themes and the, are, are resonating inside a scene, and it all is sort of top to bottom working. Um, the hardest thing is when there's a, like a, a negative atmosphere on the set you know there's a, if there's a certain toxicity you know people arguing whatever it may be it makes it much harder to get people to be relaxed so they can do their job right you told that with George Clooney as a producer you felt you felt protected can you tell me the best advice he gave you he gave you you know George is a very smart guy and he's you know uh, you know I, I haven't spent an afternoon with him where I didn't feel like I, I kind of picked something up and you know heard something interesting from him um, most of the best advice he gave me though can't say on camera. <laughs> okay, now tell me this. Do you hang out with Matt Damon talking about your dubs on the movie and, and did you show the movie before? Yeah, Can you tell I showed the movie to Matt the movie many times. I have a little group of friends that I show movies to early on, I get feedback, I get advice. Uh, I show Matt. Um, uh, um, yeah, my brother is very sharp, obviously George and Grant. Um, but does he, Matt Damon, does he ask you for suggestions in being a director? He wants to be a director. Yeah, uh, he asked me about it. Yeah, I mean, he's very confident. And he's, you know, he's worked with a lot of great directors. Um, and he's asked me, you know, about uh, some things and, you know, mostly uh, either technical stuff or just like, just advice, like friends. You know what I mean? Like, what do you think? Should I direct this movie? Should I not? Should I, do, you know, um, you know, as he's mulling it over, naturally you, you, you touch base with your friends. Um, but uh, I expect that he will direct the movie soon, and I know that it'll be great. Ha! <laughs> I just said to Matt, losing would suck and winning would be really scary, and it's really, really scary. Uh, okay, losing would suck and winning uh, would know, be really we're, scary. We're do you remember the sentence? Yes, yeah, so I wish I had not said that. <laughs> really? Do, do you regret it? I mean, I have to watch it every now and then, too. It's, it's not a happy moment. But <laughs> uh, it feels like a 12-year-old kid, you know, like, okay, you're winning a Academy Award. But yes, that's what I said. So, uh, do you think about another possibility, another shot on going up there and behaving different <laughs> a little more dignity um uh no i don't I, I i try not to think about things that are out of my control in general you know what i mean i there's enough that i have in my life to worry about and i really i try very hard just to stay focused on that i always ask what was the poster hanging on your wall when you were a teenager oh i had all the like you know the godfather and the you know scarface and uh, you know pacino de niro movies i think i had reservoir dogs when it came out like Reservoir Dogs came out when I was in high school, maybe. Um, you know, uh, 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 those were the those were very common movies at the time to have as a, a high school kid. You know, like you know, the Apocalypse Now, that kind of stuff. So can you can we say that I, I mean the the kid in Argo? Can we say that it, it's like you? That is me, but I was much younger there. That's the same like same room, my same toys, everything exactly. Uh, basically as it was in my, my home room at home when I was a little boy. Uh, and I had all those, that stuff there, the, 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 the poster, the sheets in the bed, the toys, you know, and it really brought back my uh, childhood. Uh -huh. Everyone, when I tell that I was going to interview you, they, they always tell me, ask him if he loves comics, ask him if he loves comics, do you love comics? Yeah, I mean, I like comic books. I definitely, um, uh, I still look at them, read them and stuff now, um, but I... Uh, I really was into comics when I was uh, younger, and um, you know the new comics in a way. I mean, there's some like comics that are made for like in a way like more mature, you know, like darker comics, and there's uh, some of them have already kind of segued into like living comics, like in video games. So if you look at you know, Arkham Asylum or something for Xbox, it's yeah. it's it's like a comic, but it's also interactive, you know, which I think is kind of interesting. Ti serve un copione? Argo. Fantascienza avventurosa. Luna, Marte, deserto. Ci serve una location esotica. Ti serve un produttore. Se io faccio un falso film, sarà un falso successo. 
Non avete una migliore cattiva idea?